Watch your feet. of the course, and just in case, take off your helmet a sec. In case there's any malfunction at all, depressurize the system and hit that chute. There's a possibility we may have missed a rudder or a pedal. If the car should jerk, don't try to overcorrect it. Otherwise, you'll roll, OK? Nervous? No. You behave yourself. reflex testing, Ms. O'Neill. We put out a loud sound, release the jack in the box. She looks at the box. See? Again. Now, without releasing the jack in the box, with a sound only, if she can hear, she's conditioned to look at the box. If she can't, she won't look. Would you try it again, please? Maybe if you tried something else. We tried every test I know, Miss O'Neill. You can have this, sugar. Yeah. Uh, Say she had a, a series of viral infections. Yes, when she was four months old, her temperature was 106. And how old is she now? She's two, just two. 
And she's never spoken? No. Not a word? No, I... I thought maybe she was a little slow. Uh-huh. She's very good. No trouble, no problem. She's... She's very good. Yes, ma'am. A deaf child is generally a quiet child. You will never use sign language, Kitty O'Neill. Do you understand? You will learn to hear with your eyes and speak to others as they speak to you. Watch. Give me your hand. Ma, Ma. You feel it? Watch me, kidding. Ma, Ma. What are you doing, Pat? Ma, Ma. What are you doing? You don't know how to teach her. I'll learn. And she'll learn. Ma, Ma. Kitty, watch. Watch me. Ma, 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 ma. Did you hear me? Egg, egg, egg. Kitty, egg. I grow up, I will talk better. When I grow up, I will talk better. Terrific. Terrific! <laughs>
think that's you over there? We have a new classmate for the girls. Tell them your name, dear. My name Kelly. <laughs> What time is <laughs> You know what time it is. I saw the light go out. I've seen the light go out every night this week. Don't you think it's time we stop playing these little games with each other? How is she? How is she? She'll be fine. No, I didn't ask you how she'll be. I asked you how she is. Don't you understand what I'm saying to you? I want my little girl to be happy now. She sits in a classroom pack where 30 kids laugh at her all day long, and you tell me she'll be fine. How is she now, Pat? She'll be fine. She'll stop laughing. And she'll be fine. Did you want something? I want twice. You want a what? Twice for baseball. Well, uh, do you play an instrument? I play piano. Piano? How? I read music by eBay. But you can't hear what you play. Oh, yeah. You can. I feel. You feel, feel what? Vibration. Vibration.
too. If you want it. Yeah, I do. You don't have to worry about anything, kid. Now, the oil business has been real good to us. There'll always be plenty of money for whatever you might want to do. I hope you understand that this divorce has nothing to do with you. I hope not. Think not. I can. Why? Because it wouldn't be true. If I were here. Objected to what you are not. The only thing I've ever objected to is not having any say in the matter. Maybe you should have tried harder, Pa. Well, I didn't have anyone to push me like you did. <laughs> Pa. It's all right, Kitty. It's all right. You go ahead. Now you go ahead and cry. I've never been able to teach you anything. I, I want you to understand what I say to you now. You don't always have to be so damn brave, my darling, huh? Just because you can't hear doesn't mean that you can't cry once in a while. I remember. I, I'm sorry about us. It's getting late. We'd better go. Have much diving experience? She's been the one and three meter springboard champion for the past two years. Interscholastic? And state, Southwest Texas. Are you out of school? She just graduated. Going to college? Well, we we don't know yet. A lot depends on what happens here. 
I see. Where are you staying? We don't know that either. We, we came here straight from the airport. Well, you must be more tired than dedicated at this point. Kitty has great stamina, Mr. Lee. She must have. She certainly doesn't use it up talking, does she? Kitty, why do you want to dive? Uh, I won't be in the Olympics, like you. Which event, springboard or tower? Hi, tower. How long have you been hard of hearing? How did you know that, Mr. Lee? It's ugly, Mama. Look behind him. How did you know that, Dr. Lee? By the way she talks, that's my specialty. Kitty, there's a motel down the street. Check in, get a good night's rest. She's ready to audition now. But I'm not ready to audition her now. Kitty, get a good night's rest. See you tomorrow morning, 8 o'clock sharp. All right. Thank you, Dr. Lee. Mama, don't you? Okay, Kitty, let's do a forward one and a half somersault pike first. Second, do an inward dive straight. Third, do a forward dive pike. Bed. You're pretty good. Well, will you coach her? The Olympics are two years off, takes lots of work, and you might not even qualify. I can do it. The three other requirements, no smoking, no drinking, and no junk food. Promise? I promise. Okay, get dressed. <gasps> You're not so tough, Dr. Lee. But you are, Mrs. O'Neill. Are you okay? Are you okay? Just me! Okay, Kitty, get a nice walk on the board, a high hurdle, get a straight lift up into the air, and don't move your head through the home dive. Not bad, you cut the board a little bit. One more time, Kitty. Lock the elbows. One more time. One more time. Okay, Kitty, get a straight forearm press and don't move your head. I'm turning the class over to Carl here to teach you some karate. You need it for quickness and speed in diving, okay?
Well, hello, Dr. Lee. Hello, Mrs. O'Neill. Hi. Well, you don't seem to be suffering too much. I'm bored. How's the arm? Feeling better? Yeah, it hasn't started to itch yet. Did she qualify? Well, where'd she place? She must have at least been third. No. Well, she couldn't have taken less than third. Twelfth. Twelfth? Twelfth. Kitty, you're the twelfth best diver in the country. You mean she didn't make it? I wanted to give you the news. So get that cast off so we can start exercising the wrist. Okay, take it easy. Okay. Bye. Mama. You wait here. How good am I? Good. How good am I? Kitty? Good. How good am I? Twelfth in the country isn't bad. Pretty good? Better than that. Good. How good can I be? You might move up two or three positions. Can I win gold medal? Ever? I doubt it. You said you wanted to make champions. Why you teach me? Because you had the determination and the guts. But I just couldn't teach you the quickness. Uh, why didn't you tell me? Because I could have been wrong. Why now? Because I'm right. And I love you, kiddo. I love you. Mama? I'll never be champion, Mama. What? I'll never be champion. Yes, you will. A little more practice? No. No more practice. What are you saying? All I ever do is train, train, train. No friends, no fun. You want me to be first, to be best, but I can't be. I can't be. You can? No. You want me to talk so I could be like everybody else. Then let me be like everybody else. No first, no best. All right. Lisa's up here. Where do you want to go? I don't know. You can do whatever you want. You can go wherever you want. Mama, I won't live by myself. I love you, Mama, but I won't live by myself. Mama, I write, Mama. I write often. You too, huh? You too, huh? Mama, a golden motel for a week till I know what to do, and then I write you. You like Texas, Mama. You always liked it. I'm glad you're going back. Sunwest Airlines Flight 597 for Dallas, Texas is now boarding at gate 15. Please show your boarding pass to the attendant at the gate.
I have to go. Don't worry, Mama. I'll be fine. 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 How long will you be staying with us, Miss O'Neill? Miss O'Neill, how long will you be staying with us? Miss O'Neill? Yes. Uh, how long will you be staying with us? I'm not sure. Oh. Ah. Would you be having dinner with us? Uh, I'd be happy to make a reservation for you. What are you say? Will you be having dinner with us at the hotel? No. Uh, just a sandwich in my room. It'll be fine. Oh, fine. We'll just telephone for room service. Room service? Yes, just uh, telephone. I can't use a telephone. Uh, what? I'm deaf. Um, <clears throat> yeah, um, I'll call for you. Chicken sandwich, glass of milk. It's all right? Um, if that's what you want, uh, what about the waiter? The weather? The waiter. Oh, I'm sorry. You have to look at me when you talk. I really live. Oh, yes. I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, how is the, uh, how is the waiter going to get into your room if, uh, you... Yes. Uh, I'll leave the door open. Will you wake me at 7 o'clock? How? I'll keep the door unlocked. You send someone. Just walk right in? I can't think of another way. Can you? Employment agency. Good morning, Dr. Employment agency. What's the date? Excuse me, what's the date today? Hey, I asked you what the date was. Yes, I think. Thank you. What are you applying for? I asked you what you're applying for. Hey, are you deaf or you stuck up? Both, I guess. Good morning, Dr. Employment Agency. 
Question. Do you usually make unthinking comments? Answer. Not usually. You got that one? No. Mm. That's funny. Name. Tom Buchanan. You got that? Yeah. Where'd you put that? Kitty O'Neill. That's a good answer. Good answer. I'm sorry, Kitty O'Neill. That's okay, Tom Buchanan. What are you applying for? Anything. You won't get it. Uh, what can you do? I'm a high diver. Put down anything. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna tell me death? No. Uh, I've been... I, I can't get a job that way. I've been trying for months. So today, I thought I'd lip read. Okay. But I hope they don't turn away from me. Um, who's next? Uh, no, she is. All right. Uh... When you're in trouble, watch me. Would you sit down, please? Uh, Miss O'Neill. Are you um, a native of California? No, I'm from Tex the, the South. Oh. Uh, how long have you been a resident? About three years. <laughs> well, uh, you don't seem to have much experience at anything. What is it that you'd like to do? Uh, something athletic. Maybe playground work. Hmm. Well, I'm sure we don't have anything now. But I'll tell you, I can register you. Well, let me make sure of something first. Um, what particular age group would you prefer to work with? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Okay. What? Any age group, okay. Oh, all right. Well, okay. <laughs> we'll let you know if we have something. Good. Uh, thank you. Sure. Bye. Bye. Good morning, Rob. Hey. Oh. 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 Thank you. <laughs> we make a hell of a team. <laughs> you ever been on one of these things? No. Would you like to? Is it safe? Hell no. That's what's fun about it. Come on, get out. You're not scared, are you? Dad. Do better than that? I don't drink. But your friends? I don't have many friends who drink. I don't have many friends who don't drink. It's okay, I ain't thirsty. Okay. You know, uh, this place is pretty, excuse me, this place is pretty swank for someone uh, who uh, just came from an employment agency. Who's shelling out for all this? Some guy keeping you. <laughs> No, <laughs> no, oh, no, um, my father left me some money. He died in a plane crash about a year ago. Yeah, sorry. You alone? Yeah, my mother lives in Texas. She runs a school for deaf children. We talk on the phone every day. <laughs> Little deaf joke, huh? Little deaf joke. <laughs> Little deaf joke. <laughs> no, uh, we write all the time. How about you? No parents. 
I don't remember if I left them or it was the other way around. I park cars and stuff when I have to, you know. I drop out, it's trying to drop back in by degrees. Uh, and I like music. Why did you laugh when I asked you if some guy was keeping you? No, uh, come on, I want a deaf girl. I might. give those records away as supermarket premiums, and you're thinking of putting more money into her career? You know Tom's career. Tell me, Joel, is she good? Is she, can she sing? The truth? I heard better sounds come out of boat whistles. Look, Kitty, you're going broke. I'm your accountant. It's my business, my duty to get you to cool this spending. I think you'll have to liquidate a few things, too. Now, uh, you own your apartment outright. Yes. Why haven't you made any payments on your car? Payments? I paid cash for that car. Tom refinanced it. As for the jewelry he bought you. Jewelry? Jewelry. The earrings. The diamond earrings. I'm afraid you have me confused with a very bad singer.
Leaving? I figured you'd dig it all up. Where are you going? I don't know. Wherever you go, you're going to have to go by bus. What you do with the earring? Get him back? You were great, Tom. A great actor. I never suspected for a minute. A little death choke, huh? That's why I was to you, a little death choke with money. I'll tell you something. I figure you got an even trade because, honey, you had me, a whole guy for two years, normal from top to toe. There aren't many cripples who can. <laughs> Someone who can talk straight and hear. Look at me. Someone who can sing. Let me hear you sing, me. You are the condition. That dude at the hotel would have killed you today. Like I said, we got an even trade going for us, honey. <coughs> I don't owe you nothing. I don't owe you one damn thing. I'm sorry. I'm Kitty O'Neill. Okay. Don't you know why I'm here? Oh, it'll come back to me in a minute. I was just distracted. My accountant, Joe Foster, said you'd give me some special attention. You don't seem like you need any special attention. Sometimes, when it comes to business. I remember now Joe asked me to open an account for you, make you feel at home. Does that noise bother you? What noise? The motorcycle's outside. Doesn't bother me. I could close the window. Is it bothered you? Joe did tell me what happened. How'd you let a guy like that rip you off? Well, you know, it takes all my energy to figure out what people are saying. Just beginning to understand why they're saying it. I'm sorry, you'll have to translate that. I'm dead. Joe didn't tell me that. Let me count. I know with a sense of humor. <laughs> Would you mind? I'd like to see this. Oh, no. Go right ahead. I'll take the silver helmet for five bucks. You made the ten. Make it ten and you're on. What do you know about motorcycles? I spent most of the last three years on a bike. What have you got? T500. Yami, it's in the shop right now. It's loading up. Probably the jetting. Think so? Yeah. All one. That's ten bucks. I never expected this windfall. You don't need any special attention. On a walk into the teller's window, we have a special lady there with a stiff neck who can't look down when she talks. You'll have no trouble at all. Mr. Hamilton, you want a lift?
Sorry, the hot dog. What? I can't read you in your mouth, though. <laughs> the hot dogs taste like rubber. <laughs> hey. Come on, let's get out of here. I Sewing them back, but I really don't know how useful it's going It's a good thing you got it here as soon as you did. No point in you waiting around here. She won't respond to anybody for a day or so. Oh, uh, uh, Doctor, try not to say anything behind her back. What? I mean, uh, she's got to be looking at you when you talk to her. Were you in a crash, too? No, I mean, she's deaf. She reads lips. Oh, thank you. Morning, Bill. George. Morning, Duffy. Oh, Duffy. Mr. Porter wants to see you. Right away. Duffy, the vice president of a bank, Riding motorcycles, dressed like one of those Hell's Angels or whatever they're called. That's what they're called, Hell's Angels. It's just not dignified. Well, that may be so, Juan, but what I do on my time off is nobody's business but my own. Not true. When I sent a customer of the bank to consult with you... Warren, what are you trying to tell me? Just say it. I thought I already did. Give up the motorcycles. Or... Give up the bank. Oh, I thought I did. <laughs> I brought you some flowers. So I see, thank you. I thought it was the least I can do. <laughs> Why? Well, I feel responsible for what happened. Oh, when you fall. <laughs> Would you mind if I sat down? Oh, go ahead. Pretty. Oh, yeah. You gonna keep holding them? Oh, no. <laughs> I 
Are you in pain? No, it's not too bad. What's the matter? No suit and tie. It's a working day. I quit. Ah, wow, you're kidding. No, I'm not kidding. I had this stuntman friend of mine who's uh, willing to train me. Some man. Yeah, you know, in the films where the star jumps into the shark infested waters, but it's not really the star. It's... People get paid money for that. Oh, sure. I mean, those who survive. Sound exciting. It is. It's, it's very exciting. <laughs> I mean, anything's exciting in comparison. You think I'm crazy? I'm not sure. Neither am I. It's just that I went through six years of college, and all I ever learned was how I hated living like everybody else. It's funny. What? It's all I ever really wanted. Well, that's what you've got, lady. Ranch, house, children. I mean, we'll make a hell of a romance, you and I. No, not for me. How am I feel? No. You just don't trust me. I mean, after that last guy, you don't trust any man. You're right. You're wrong. You're dead wrong. I mean, look at it this way. You're 95% deaf and you're 70% broke. What have you got to lose? <laughs> Okay. Okay, let's go. Make sure he lands in the right spot. I don't want any broken bones. He knows. Okay, let's go, everybody. We're rolling. Action, action. <laughs> To do, I but by now, I mean here. What do you want? Steph, you want to be a father or not? Of course I want to be a, of course I want to be a father. Well, you remember what the doctor said? He said, you've got to catch me when the temperature's up. Well, it's up now and it's falling fast. 
How's the trailer? Sound good to me. All right. Uh, David, tell Lou I'll be ready in uh, three minutes. What happened to your hand? I got in a fight with a roast chicken. You think this is bad? You want to see the chicken? Oh. Arnie, we've tried just about everything. Temperature rising. I had injection. Candlelight and wind. I mean, I even did it in the bottle. I, my chromosomes swam in the right direction. Chromosomes don't swim. Listen, there's one more thing we can try. Of course, I can't be sure. I can't be sure until we do an exploratory. Here we go. Doesn't that look good? I said, doesn't that look good? No. Uh -huh. You're right. They're also very blunt. Okay. Well, where do you usually put your unsuccessful chickens? Well, let me tell you the one about. Kitty, I am sick and tired of... Don't shout at me. I can't hear you any better when you shout. The doctor said there'd be some post-operative depression, but this is ridiculous. Nobody's asking you to stay. Nobody's asking me to stay? What the hell do you think I'm doing it for kicks? Now, I asked you to let me get a nurse in here, but no, you... I don't want you spending your money on nurses. Well, why don't you cut it out? Why don't you just knock it off? You've been playing Camille for three weeks now, and I've had it up to here. I'm not going to stand for it anymore. Look at me! Don't do that! But don't play deaf with me. Your mourning period is over. I, I feel just as bad about it as you do. I wanted kids just as much as you did. You didn't have a hysterectomy! Oh, that's right. Well, I offered them a fair exchange, me for you, but they wouldn't go for it. Honey, you are fine. Whatever was wrong is okay. They got all of it. And more. All right. Well, what are you going to do? Are you just going to lie around here from now on and just mope around? Is that what you want to do, huh? Huh? What? I hate this place. You hate this place? I hate it. Well, why didn't you tell me? Because you wanted it. What do you mean I wanted it? The only reason I bought this stuff is because you said you wanted to live like everybody else. But that was before I found out how they live. I guess you found out you're not the domestic type. No. Well, what are you? Stunt woman. Well, for a minute there, I thought you said stunt woman. I did. I want to be a stunt woman. <laughs> no, 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 stop it, please. Oh, please, please, come on. No, 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 please, you can teach me. Hey, Tony, it's too tough. The training involves... I can do that. I, I did the heavy. I've been through it. Honey, I couldn't get you a union card. Because I'm there. No, Tuffy. I've fooled people for years. Please. Kitty. Please. 
honey. You want all the excuses? Yes. Higher. Good. <coughs> Terrific. Wanna try going back up the hill? Come on. How about one more mile? Maybe next week. I'll race you home. You're trying to kill me or train me? Harder, harder. Come on, Kitty. Make believe it's your ex-boyfriend. Punch! <laughs> Okay, keep your head low and under. Head follows body. Otherwise, you'll break your neck, okay? All right, jump. Remember to duck under the dash before the car hits the IV. Otherwise, you get your head torn. Uh -huh. Good luck. You the stunt coordinator? Yes, sir. Any problems? Oh, no, we're all set to go. All right, let's do it. Right. Miss, a stunt woman. Stunt woman. A miss. He's calling you. Oh, yes, sir. What's the matter? Don't you hear me when I call you? Well, I... She doesn't understand much English, sir. She's foreign. Oh, great. Well, how'd she get her instructions? Oh, I, I speak her language. Oh. Well, what is it? What's her language? Romanian. Romanian. Well, look, just tell her to get out of there when she hears me say action. She'll hear it all right. The car's wired for sound. Well, tell her. Uh, Zubrinsky, Moshkov, Ziska. Keep nodding. Huh? Borga. Ah, ah, Volga. Action, Ski. Action. Right, action. She's got it. All right, let's do it. Oh, my God. Buffy, what am I going to do? I mean, the car wire for Sam, but I'm not, and he's going to be block away. Let's go. Oh, you're right, we're set. Just watch me. Oh. Wherever I am, just keep your eyes on me. Yeah. Okay? yeah but that... We're set. Go, go, go. Oh, okay, okay. people, this is picture. And action! can't expect me to be stunt coordinator on every job you take. What about me? What the hell am I supposed to do? Retire? You know, one of these days you're going to have to go in there alone and somebody's going to yell at you, watch out, you're not going to be able to hear it. We figured it out okay this job, didn't we? We figured it out. We figured it out. Yeah. Over the mail, huh?
Excuse me, I'd like to see Mrs. O'Neill on her own. Oh, I know who you are, Mrs. O'Neill. I'll take you to her. Good morning. I'm Kitty. I'd like to, Kitty. I can't move much from the neck down. When did this happen? Three, four months ago. And you tell me. I thought I never have to tell you at all. But now. What happened? kind of light-headed one morning, and the next thing I knew, I was like this. Stroke. Doctor said, probably never walk again. I told him I made my daughter talk and hear, so I'd make myself walk. You will, Mama. No. They try to keep me at home, but I'm, I'm more comfortable here. Yeah. This is really home. Here. Yeah. I'm proud of it. Proud of what I built for these children. You should be proud. Proud of what I did for you too, Kitty. Even though Mama. it was a time when I I thank God you couldn't hear. I thanked him because if you heard, you wouldn't need me. I I tried to keep it to myself, for myself. Oh, I'm glad you came, Kitty, before I die, so, so I could tell you I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Kitty. I wanted you to know that. Don't be sorry, Mama. Sometime, 
I wanted to run back to you. But you gave me the strength not to. It's fine, is it? Yes, fine, <laughs> fine. <laughs> <laughs> for the listening eyes. Is that what she called them? The school for the listening eyes. You know, none of those kids will ever have to go through life passing out little cards saying, please help me, I'm deaf. Duffy, I felt so selfish. Why? I, I've never given anything back. You know, Mama was wrong in so many things, but she was right about that, about being normal, about talking, about, you know, living a, a, a regular life, about having a goal. Because I have a goal now. I have a goal. You want to tell me about it? I want to have a school for the listening eyes in every city in the country. That's terrific. How are you going to do it? I haven't the faintest idea. <laughs> but I'll figure it out. I will. I can do things that most women can do. I can do things that most men can do. That most people can do. And you know that. You train me. Kitty, honey, what are you trying to prove? I want to show what deaf people can do if they have the chance. Maybe if I'm champion again, someone will notice. They'll build a school, you know? Well, whatever it is, I'm going to do it faster, better than anyone else. You watch me. drive. Kitty, this car is set up for the guy who's going to break the land speed record. And it's going to be driven by the woman who'll break the land speed record. Do you know what powers this vehicle? Hydrogen peroxide. Same stuff women use in their hair. Try not to be funny. This baby's like a jet plane. Besides, there are only three men in the entire world with a license to drive this car. And no women. And we're going to keep it that way. Come on, Duff, this is what I've been training for. This is my big shot. Think of those deaf kids. What do it mean to them? And the deaf girl is the fastest person on Earth. Honey, I know that. But we're also talking about money. I mean a lot of money. Do you have any idea what it costs to drive this car just once? $20,000. Charlie? Yes. yes. Come on, Duff. Give me the ride.
watching, Mike. I was just checking out all the things that could go wrong. There were lots of them. No. You're nervous? No. Well, I am. Effie, I'm going to be okay. Oh, sure, I know. Uh, just do me a favor, will you? I'm not backing out. Okay, then do me another favor, will you? That depends. Oh, when you get in that car, just remember all I went through to get you. I mean, I just can't go back to my mother after all the hassle and tell her uh, I'm trying to find another deaf Irish Indian. You know what I mean? I know what you mean. I mean, she wasn't too happy with it in the first place. You know what I mean? I know what you mean. Yeah, well, just don't try to be a hero. I love you, Kitty. Me too, Doc. You know what I mean? Duffy, don't make me think I'll never see your face again. Kitty O'Neill, woman's land speed record attempt. All right, we're all set. Give me a countdown. Ten. Ten. Nine. Nine. Eight, seven, seven, five, five, four, four, three, three, two, two, one. one. Go! Up to five seven five six hundred six zero zero. Swerving. She's okay. miles short of a world's record. No woman's ever come close. Wow, well, babe. I should have pushed you a little harder. Come on, Jeff. Let's go get those miles. What the hell? We're here, aren't we? All right. We'll go for Charlie. We're going to go for a get it ready. Duffy, pull her out, Duffy. She can't make the run. What are you talking about, Charlie? We've got 15 minutes to Duffy, would you take her out, please? Come on out, Kitty. Come on out. What is it? Look, I don't know how to tell you this, but she can't make the run. What the hell are you talking about, Charlie? She can't make the run. Who says she can't? Not a pinstripe suit. Why not? They said just the woman's record. I mean, their company's hired this big-name driver, a man, to try for the world record. I'll make this record, he'd break my record. Yeah, but they got a big investment in this guy, Kitty. I mean, I don't know, he's been signed to do their commercials and stuff like that. And? And what? 
They consider it undignified for a woman to break a man's record. Why don't you give me that ball, Charlie? We're four miles from the big one. Now, I've got a lot of vectors. Just take it easy, will you, Duffy? I mean, this is my baby, too, remember? I mean, I know how you feel. Both of you. There's just nothing we can do about it right now. I mean, they got the power, they pulled the plug. The day's gone. I mean, what more can you say? Duff, 600 miles. Doesn't happen every day. Right. Whoa. Are you okay? Yeah. You okay? I'm okay. What's happening? Is it doing, Kitty? Are you feeling all right? Hey, you made 618. That's great, Kitty. What's happening? Yeah, how about the wind? All right. You want to hear the real garbage? Yeah. They only let Kitty make the run because they didn't think she had a snowball's chance in hell of ever coming near the record. Well, she fooled him, didn't she? She broke it, didn't she? So, and I've got news for those boys. Not only will Kitty be back and break the all-around speed record, but she will be the first person to break the sound barrier on land. All right. I promise you that. Duffy, Duffy, wait. Excuse me. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, hi. I'm sorry that you all had to come out here today, and we only did one run, but the people who own the car don't want me to drive it anymore. They don't understand about being deaf. They think being deaf is a handicap. And we know that it's a challenge. And we love challenges. Some of you may not be able to understand me because you can't read my lips. But someday you will. And someday I'll set that record. And maybe you can be there to see me do it. Oh. No, no, no. I want you to talk to me. Talk to me. Kitty. Sorry. Sound barrier. Huh? Pretty funny. Jeff person breaking the sound barrier. Well, it seemed the right thing to say at the time. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe they're right. Maybe I am crazy. I mean, uh, well, you know, I can't letting you go out there and possibly kill yourself, fighting for you all the time. What do you mean? Think of all the great stories you're going to be able to tell you your next girlfriend. Oh, if there's ever an ex-girlfriend, believe me, she's going to be blind, too. Blind? Blind. Oh, blind. blind. Read my lips. Blind. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I think it's a pretty good idea, Duffy. Yeah? I mean, if you're going to go for a record, why not go for a big one? You are a fruitcake. You really are a fruitcake. Now, think about it. I'm, I mean, think about it. Think about what? It can be done. I know. Sound barrier. What do you think I'm talking about? Kitty O'Neill, I think you can do anything but cook. Mm -hmm.